sorry, I can't help it. Well, of course you're standing there all pleased with yourself. You had a roll in the hay with me, hoping to make the ex-wife jealous, and now she's ready to come running back. No offense, but if all I wanted was a roll in the hay, I wouldn't have had it with someone who would threaten to kick my teeth in. I'm allowed to see my son again. Be the father that he needs me to be. You made it happen. Well, I know how important your children are to you, Sonny. How much worse is this going to get for you as far as internal affairs? Well, the investigation's underway, but whether or not you see your son doesn't really affect the outcome. Yeah, but if you petition the judge on my behalf, it's only going to prove you're biased. I slept with you, Sonny. It doesn't get any more biased than that. Brenda was asking for me when she was sick in Africa? Yeah. She kept calling out the name Dante. And you obviously think that was you. Which means you and Brenda met long before she returned to Port Charles. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we did. Well, why hide it? Carly. First of all, I wasn't trying to make Elizabeth jealous by sleeping with you. I told you, there's nothing between us but our children. You told me a lot of things, most of them lies, starting with your name. But I know what I saw at the park. You're looking to be that picture-perfect family what again. What you saw was me spending time with my boys and Elizabeth showing up with her new baby to pick them up. I mean, of course, I'm going to be friendly to her. It helps Cam and Jake to see us getting along. But we're not getting back together. It's over between us. And for the record, my relationship with Elizabeth was never picture perfect. Because she slept with your brother. No, I was That's what since you're running halfway around the world, you were looking to forget. So you took up with the first lass you could find, hoping to take the edge off the pain you were feeling. Well, maybe I'm assuming too much here, but I thought we had more going on than what in the bedroom. So, from the first night that you walked into that bar, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. Okay? And, and not just how beautiful you are, but how you're complicated and completely unpredictable. You always say all the right things. Maybe when you stick your foot in your mouth, you, you smooth it over to make it look like you were paying me a compliment all along. It doesn't have to be so complicated, Siobhan. It's simple. Really. I like you, and I'm pretty sure you like me. Don't go putting words in my mouth. work. I need to get this. I've got me on work to be getting back to. Spencer. Wait, can you hold on a second? I, I can't hear you. Excuse me. Siobhan, right? Hi. Hi. We really didn't get a chance to talk at the park, so I just wanted to come by and get to know you. Since you're spending so much time with Lucky and my kids. Did Carly ever say anything about the syrup stain on the carpet? <laughs> I think the staff were too busy scraping spaghetti off the walls. <gasps> oh no, she didn't. <laughs> it was my fault. I took her to Noko uh, a couple days ago and I figured she'd be impressed with the little show the chefs put on. Apparently the part where he tossed shrimp in the air and she caught it in her mouth made quite an impression. <laughs> Needless to say, spaghetti and meatballs everywhere. <laughs> Okay, well, it sounds like we need to work on some table manners. On the other hand, uh, she might have a career in baseball. She's got one hell of an arm. I really miss her. Her little messy face and all. And she misses you, too. Hey, sorry to uh, interrupt. I was just talking to Dr. Lithgow, and he said that they were able to get your infection under control. That's great news. Yeah, yeah, Robin's recovery is the most important thing. We're all looking forward to moving on. That's completely understandable. Um, <clears throat> actually, that's why I came by. I've, um, I've been doing a lot of thinking about the talk that we had at Jake's. Uh, Patrick asked me to uh, reconsider going in front of the board and having you removed from staff. He thought, you know, we could come up with another solution. And what I have come to realize is that Someone needs to stop enabling you, Robin. So I am going to ask that you be fired 
for your own good. Do you ever talk about your time in prison? No. Maybe you should. What's the point? It's over now. There's no point in dwelling in it. No, but if you talk about it, you know, even once, you just say out loud whatever it is that happened. I mean, maybe it'll lose some of it. So do you like talking about drunk guys sticking money in your underwear? No, I don't. I've told you that, Michael. I don't talk about those things with anyone. Except with you. I hate those costumes so much. I was up front. I disclosed the fact that we were sleeping together right. so I could remove myself from prosecuting you due to a conflict of interest. And while it didn't win me any favors with my superiors, I didn't do anything illegal. The Justice Department tried to bust me for years. They never got enough evidence to make it stick. But when they got that recording of me talking about Johnny's car bomb, that would have put me away for a long time. Detective Domestico obtained that recording illegally. She could have covered it up. You could have gotten a warrant and made it look official. Oh, really? And run the risk of getting disbarred? And truth comes out? What do you think is going to happen after this investigation's over? This is a witch hunt. If they can't get me, they're going to turn on you. Well, um, there's some rumblings about me being reassigned to some desk job in middle America. You know? But I'll still be part of the Justice Department. That was before you did another favor for me. Well, I filed a petition to amend the terms of Michael's parole a few weeks ago, and it's just coming through the system now. But as I told you before, whether or not you see your son doesn't make a difference at this point. It does for me. Because, you know, you did something for me, right? That's important. I want to be able to do something for you. You can. Part of a police detail assigned to guard Brenda when she was in New York a few years ago. I, uh, I had no idea that I had made such an impression on her. But hey, I guess I missed my shot, right? Why has no one mentioned it before now? You mentioned what? Well, Dante was just telling me that uh, this isn't the first time he's guarded you. He was part of your security detail three years ago before you started working for ASEC. So, it all makes sense. What all makes sense? Well, I've always wondered who was the mystery man you were calling out for in Africa when uh, you were uh, you know, I'm... Mystery solved. I'm not sure why you're even bringing that up. Remember I told you I don't ever want to talk about that trip again? 